Welcome to the part of World Tour. This time we are doing Subway. Now, last time we went for about a million and thirty-three. Uh, you know, pretty big number, honestly, considering we're no longer going under a million. Well, this time we're doing two and a quarter million. Yay! <laughs> oh God, and it's gonna get worse from here on out. Trust me. But right now, uh. Also, for this part, I'm turning down the audio for the game because this area is incredibly loud. It overpowers my fucking voice when it comes to this editing, so... This one's be a little bit lower on the volume so you can actually hear me better. Anyway, uh, this one's actually annoying, not because of the, you know, the bosses here, which are the, uh, Purple Silky and the, um, Mad Copper. Because, you know, we got the the pimp and the cop, and obviously, one's a slammer and the other one's a projectile. They're not that bad. What's fucking bad is getting to the area where the fucking, um, where the generators are. Because the problem is, it doesn't make much sense to me how it's supposed to get there normally. Because the way I did it is pretty much how I always did it when it came to this. And I'm not a fan of how I do it here. I'm hoping it's wrong and there's a more straightforward, easier way. But I looked around and I couldn't find it. So, And I'm not looking up any videos to learn how to do it correctly. So... The way I do it here is literally how I even figured out how to get up there myself. So, really this one chops down to bad game design. Might, might be thinking that ramp up there will help me get up there. No, there's a wall up there. I can't get up that way. So, the whole thing is just awkward. But right now, take care of the bosses. Grab the fucking keys. Unlock the gate that's high in the window. And then try to find a way up there. For me... It was grinding on these pillars up here, like right there, those two pillars, trying to grind on one of them, and either going backwards to the platform behind me, or grinding forwards into the area. Either way, I get into the air by grinding, and I basically get the generators from ramps, and like one of them is a grind. But, yeah, it's just incredibly awkward how you're even supposed to deal with this. I'm not a fucking fan of... I'm not a fan of how you're supposed to even get through this. I... I get the tokens here anyway, and I try to deal with this, but the problem is... I don't get it done in this first playthrough, so unfortunately... I just have to deal with the fact that I have to do this on the second playthrough. This is the second level where I couldn't do it all in one playthrough, the bosses and the transmitters. You know, it's starting to get a, it's starting to get a bit, like, lacking here. But hey, I got some tokens. I got, like, about four of them. I'm doing fine. I could do much better, but for now, I'm doing okay. Actually, I'm gonna actually get five, because one around here, I believe. But, um, yeah, like, these transmitters here are pretty high up, and they require me to, you know, be fairly accurate, and they're also not aligned together very well, so one's a little off to the side compared to the other one, and, uh, yeah, I can't go back and forth on that because of it. It's annoying, it's obnoxious, I'm not a fan, but there you go. Now we have to go back and do that, right? Well, first... I'm gonna go ahead and get some tokens. The first token I'm getting, well actually one token on this one, is by going up this way, going up to the other ramp behind me, like so, going all the way to the left, and there it is. There's a ramp there, grab that, then come back down. I don't think there's any way to get up on that area by, from here, by the way. There's no windows to break here to actually get there, so that sucks. Um, but yeah, the other thing is that there's a little cutscene here by grinding over this spot. No point in doing this, just a cutscene, it's one of those random events, so... There you go. Okay, now it's time to go ahead and take care of the tr fucking transmitter. 
So two of them are on these ramps here, one there, the other one on the other side. And the third one is on this grind here by the exit, the entrance I mean. And uh, you grind that little rail there all the way around and you get it. And that's transmitted for this area. Now, there is something else. Uh, and that something else is in order to get the trick goal done, we have to do a trick in a certain spot. Watch this one is a grind. You have to do a special move, which is the handstand one. Uh, I mean, I don't know my special tricks in this game, so unfortunately I kind of get fucked there. But yeah, now I have to take care of the token that's over there, because I miss, and I fall, and I have to do that again. Don't worry, I bailed in, like so, I got lucky there. You won't, though, I'm telling you right now, you will fall. And you'll do it again and again, just trying to get fucked there. And, uh, yeah, I take care of the token right there and that's it. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you that the next bit here will just be a nice little cutscene showing we did the generator as well as another token we got here by doing a grind and a jump, which you're about to see right now. And, uh, I believe the next thing we do, here's the grind and jump, the next thing we do, I believe, is uh, involving the, um, yeah, involving these fucking things. Which, in order to activate them, you jump off of them, like so. They are unlocked the hatch. Now, with the hatch unlocked, I got one of the tokens, as well as a way up to the rooftops. So, I have to time myself, because they go in, like, certain rhythms of timing. Once you get up there, there's a token up there for us, as well as a secret area we can go into, which has another token for us. It's inside that little spot with the whole bunch of windows on the floor. Like so. There's a ramp here in the middle, there's a token right there, grab the fucking token. Uh, the way out of here is either to somehow jump up there and, like, bail up on the roof, or there's another window around here. Go for the window, you go at the exit. They're done. Okay, now that's done. Uh, next bit here is for me to go and get some more token, which I do get by dealing with this fucking subway train, which is broken. Also, I got token there. Um, but yeah, there's also this spot right here for token as well as a goal by continuously grinding, which makes a thing happen. And by that, I mean if you grind and do the trick, you get the thing. That's the spot. But uh, yeah, I grind this spot, which is actually kind of hard to grind on, and I get that. And uh, then I make a jump over here, uh, and I try to fuck up, and I go around, and I grind on this spot, and I get that, I get 15. Uh, there's a subway here, we'll deal with that very soon. Uh, right now though, that's all the areas I have to deal with, so now I grind up here, I grind all the way through, and then I complete a goal by grinding over this, which brings up the subway train. We crashed it. Now. Grind that shit again, and the reason for grinding again is because it's another fucking event we can make happen. But first, jump up the side to get that token. Okay, now grind again, keep grinding, grind this billboard here, cutscene. We broke a water tower. And now, I'm gonna go ahead and get two more things done, which is, uh, the switches around here. Which, uh, there's one there, there's one over there. And then there's, like, two by the fucking ship here, by the tanker. And, uh, then we have one right in the middle of this area. So grind that, it's over to, like, my left here. And that's it. This will lower the crane, which will let us get onto the ship. Get on the ship because I believe the last token is here, as well as our CD. We can now access all three CDs at this point. One CD is up on the ramps, on the rooftops, the other CD is, you saw it before while I was grinding on that, uh, fucking wire. And the last CD is in the shit. Got the scooter. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this shit first. Cutscene. CD time. First this CD right here. Jump and grind and get that. Next CD, it's on the fucking ship, right there at the top. Grab it. And last CD is on the rooftops. Get back over to the spot. Grab the CD there. Done. 
Okay, you know the drill about this point, but what we're going to do right now, which is obviously to get score. Which, for me, will involve getting the high score first, and then getting the, uh, the, the 9 multiplier score, I guess you can call it. In order to get all the unlockable shit for, you know, 100% of the game. So, here's a nice little screenshot, so, you know, me doing all the goals. And now, we are going to go, and we're going to fucking do the bullshit. So, how do we do it? How do we get a very good score? Well, like this. At this point, this is literally the best way of doing it. Just spamming specials like this. Uh, constantly going, with trying to air every flip. While also uh, basically tapping up, left, uh, right, and down, like in like a method of like uh, up, right, down, left, up, right, down, left. I believe that's how I'm going. Uh, if I'm not, then I'm sorry. But just keep going like that. Essentially, you'll always manual. You'll always use special tricks. Hopefully, the like China Air, and uh, keep going like that. As long as you don't land it first, you'll get a huge fucking combo out of that. And keep it going until you get your two million and a quarter. And with that, you will have completed this entire fucking uh, bullshit. And uh, you can then essentially move on. As you have completed everything you need to complete here. And you will get to do the race next. By the way, the race in this one is a little awkward. Because it's very kind of claustrophobic in a way. Very tight. Not much room to do the manual bullshit. Uh, luckily, I do manage through. And also, the extras, which you're going to love. Because it's such a, such a great idea of an extra for this game. But yeah, that's it for the scores here. Also, I missed the special trick. Here's the blunt side handstand. Grind on the spot of that trick. And there you go. We got that Gronk Electron going, got the bonus level going on. Let's go and do the fucking race already, my lads. So, what is the race like? It's like every other fucking race. That, I don't have to say anything else about that. It's just like every other race. So, are you ready? No? Too bad. This race is kind of awkward. Uh, because of how claustrophobic it kind of is. So, it's gonna be easy for you to fuck this up. Hopefully you don't. Because you got that manual thing going on. It will make you go faster. But there's so many spots where they want you to grind. That it kind of fucks up that all, all that up. And as you can see, grind is not going to go faster. It makes you go slower. So, do fucking manuals. My voice is giving up. But yeah, uh, just keep going as best you can. Uh, again, there's not a lot of hard downsides with this one, and there's a lot of spots where they want you to do grinds, so they put rails all up in your fucking face. But yeah, just be careful, keep your balance going, keep it fucking fresh, make those big jumps, those big speeds. Don't bail like I did there. Uh,. Yeah, as you saw, it's, it's getting claustrophobic, and the camera is being terrible. But keep it going as best you can. Fucking hell. I do win in this run. I nearly failed, but I did win this one. This is one of the harder races, even with the trick. And there you go, we did it. So, who do we save? Well, you're about to find out. Alright, so this person, this chick, let me fucking look at the manual real quick. Um, there we go. Okay, this chick is called uh, Rika. She's the guitarist. We'll have one character left according to the manual. And the extra for this is boxes. 
You smash all the boxes in a minute for eight seconds and you win. You just go around smashing them. It's a unique area. I will say that much. It's a unique little area. But all it's for is to smash boxes. That's it. Granted up here there's nothing for us. Uh, Manless do nothing for us. All it is is just use the ramps. Hit the boxes. That That's the extra. That's the bonus. It's a shit bonus. It's kind of lazy. Kind of crap. A lot of these boxes go into little exit areas. So if you miss one it goes in the exit area. You have to wait for it. And it doesn't take that long for it to come back. But it's still a bit obnoxious. Nonetheless. And uh. Yeah. It, it's just. It's just not a fun one. It's just not a fun bonus. It's just boring and bland and really easy and sucks. Sucks hard. Even with me fucking up on this one box here, I still won by a good mile. So, there's a lot of fucking room for fail here. A lot of room for error. And there you go. That's the bonus. That's five done. Three left to go. So, with that done, uh, next time we'll be having to do, how big is our score for the next level? Four and a half. Four and a half million. Great. You know it. So here's Stig's clothing. Free samples of me? Here's Rika. I just have to pay the price of fame. Let's be Rika. Also, we have a new scooter. And the new scooter is actually going to be very good. So first, here's model 5. Here's all the shit for that. And now here's model 6, which is better than all the other shit, right? Yes, and we'll be using the scooter on the next playthrough and all the other playthroughs at this point. Next time I'm doing Deep Water Rig. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.